It ah. smells so good. Ah, ha, ha, ha. That yes. looks like magic gold right there. Steven has been smoking a brisket. Smoked a brisket, made some tallow with the extra fat. Gotta put it yes. in the, uh, the ye old cooler here. I'm so happy. Rest You're in your hobby place? Yes, I'm definitely in <laughs> <laughs> so It's gonna good. be really good. You smoked good that night. for like overnight. Yes, I so. did 20. Basically 20 hours, yeah. Oh, so the kids are gonna be so happy Smoke tonight for dinner. Queens. It's gonna be so good. Good afternoon, What's beautiful up, people. Guys? We have an exciting video for you today because for the first time in quite a while, we're gonna give you an update on the house. There's a lot yeah. that's been going on. You guys on have been asking, and it is just ah. Oh, it's so really exciting. exciting. Things really slowed down over the holidays, um, and yeah. we didn't see a lot of progress, and that was a little bit discouraging. But <laughs> yeah. this past month or so. They have been working so hard and yeah. there is a lot of progress made and we're picking out pink colors for the house for the yeah. brick and I need to roll some on the brick and just kind of see if it's the right color. I don't want it to be too stark white. I want it to be a little bit of a softer color. Yeah. So, you know, there's a million shades of white apparently yeah. and I want to make sure that we get just the right one. So we'll um, probably show you the paint on the brick before we show you like the full picture of the house because if we start off with the picture of the house, you might be like, Oh, yeah. that's not the right color. <laughs> the siding that they're putting up is naturally a yellow color, so it kind of looks yeah. like we've built a yellow house. Our neighbors were like, do you guys uh, yeah. decide to paint the house yellow? And yeah, they're like, like oh, <laughs> that, that looks interesting. We're like, no, yeah. no, 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 that's not the official color here. So um, I'm very excited to show you that in just a minute. We're waiting for Ethan and Lincoln to get off the buses, yeah. um, get them situated with a snack, then I can get started on uh, doing this paint, but I'm really excited. Hey buddy, how was your day? Good. Good. <laughs> how was school? Good. Good. I love it. What are you doing? I'm doing some IXL. IXL. That's awesome. Hey guys, I wanted to say a quick thank you to IXL Learning for partnering with us on this video today. Last week I actually heard about IXL and I was pretty excited about it and I went up to Ethan and I said, hey dude, let's try this new app. It's called IXL Learning. And he said, oh, I do IXL at school all the time. And I was like, Oh really? Like what do you do on uh, on IXL? He's like, oh it's really cool, like you play like math games or like ELA games or science games or you know stuff like that so that you can like learn and it's really really fun and so I was like, oh sweet. So we downloaded it on this iPad here and uh, we did a diagnostic which was super cool because it allowed me to see where he's at on his learning like you know as far as his development goes and all of that. It actually personalizes his learning you know journey uh, with these fun activities and games and all kinds of things like that which for me is super important that he learns to love to learn like I don't want to raise kids who just you know memorize facts that they can regurgitate on a test but they don't actually like to learn I want them to be lifelong learners and so IXL learning is really fun because it customizes the experience for them to make it fun for them to help their personal learning style. Some people are audio learners, some people are visual learners, some people are both, and uh, and so it's really fun to see kind of uh, our little guy just really getting into it. And <laughs> He has been making the principles list at school for all A's, and so I'm super proud of him, and I know that IXL Learning is a big piece of that because it really is helping him to grasp the concepts and grasp the details in a way that makes sense for him. So we're actually gonna put a link in our description box down below where you can get 20% off of your first month or year of IXL learning. We think you would love it. We love it and uh, we're really enjoying it. <laughs> Good job, dude. You're so smart. I'm so proud of you. Can I have a high five? Yeah. Love you, bud. I'm going to go uh, paint the house with mom. You want to come join us? Sure. <laughs> okay guys, so I'm very, very excited to finally be able to sample some of this paint and see if it's the right color. As you can see, the natural brick is kind of like a grayish, brownish yeah. color. Um, honestly, I think the natural brick is not bad. It's but, pretty, yeah. It's but nice. we are wanting to do um, white, obviously. So like the, the molding and the trim and stuff up here is <laughs> naturally yellow and yeah. then the strips are white. So it kind of white. looks like we have a striped house right now. Um, but it's not going to stay that way. And so I'm kind very excited. Style almost like what? yeah 
I have about an hour until sunset and I just want to get some of this yeah. rolled onto the brick and just let it dry a little bit and see um, and yeah. make sure that it's a good shade. There's a few different other ones that we might try out, but this is yeah. the one that I think is going to be perfect. It's and so alabaster. Yeah. So our builder would be putting this on for us in the near future. This is one of the last things to happen. If you can hear it in the background, they are finishing up the last bit of like the trim yeah. and the, um, what is it called? The molding? The fascia and the soffit uh, soffit right? yeah. yeah all that so. so we'll show you a bigger picture of the house in just a minute but i want to try this paint first let it dry and then we can walk around and show you what's been going on with the house so this is a little bit more of an ivory not quite white a little bit more of an off-white which is what i want i want softer so it's going to have black trim and obviously the roof is like a dark charcoal, but I want the white itself to not be too stark. And so this, I think is gonna be a really good one. It does look pretty white, but I think it's gonna yeah. dry a little bit softer. A little darker. So we definitely need to wait a little bit. I'm gonna do a bit of a bigger uh, patch here so that we can really get a good idea for it. Heck yeah. um, you definitely don't wanna have to repaint because you've got the wrong color. <laughs> yeah. But I think as long as we're like, as long as we're dealing with neutrals though, I think we're pretty safe. Like yeah. it's not gonna turn out to be something absolutely hideous. So yeah. it's just a matter of like being careful about the actual shade. Although I will say that when we redo the barn, I really want a green, green. barn. Like a dark green yes. barn with maybe some black trim. Yes. So that could be maybe our pop of color. We were going back and forth about maybe doing green on the house. I've been trying to convince her to do green on the house for like maybe a year there's this greenhouse that i drive by every day and i'm like oh that's the one but i'm trusting her that we're making the right decision because really with the black soffit and the fascia and the cedar beams that we're putting up and the cedar headers mm -hmm. like the white really does look really good so or not white but you know alabaster or whatever we know i'm just a little nervous about the entire house being that dark i'll do like dark rooms but I think that it's probably safer to do a, a neutral, lighter color, yeah. and then we can just have fun with the barn and have fun with yeah. some accent walls inside. So. Yeah. Yeah, seeing it behind the camera, it looks a little bit lighter, but I think that that is actually going to be really, really yeah, nice. I agree. It's nice. I'm getting so excited. <laughs> We're going to so have a nice. home, and it's going to be beautiful, babe. Very and with good. our black windows, I think that's going to look really, really nice. Yeah. All the kids want to have a turn too. And Kira's our artist. Like, you are probably the most artsy of all the kids. So, you have your own paint set and easel and yeah. Oh, that's nice, Thinkling. What follows is a brief construction montage. Most of the exterior is done at this point. We have people here over the next couple of days. I think they're gonna be putting the finishing touches on. There's a little bit more brick. They actually ran out in this last little corner. They ran out of brick and so they had to order some more. So that should be going up tomorrow. Um, they're finishing the last little strips here of siding and they're finishing the soffit up here, yeah. which looks so nice. I love it's like so the dark, cool. it's kind of a matte black. Yeah. And I love that it's, it's more of a matte sheen. Yeah. Um, and then obviously that will be painted. So I love the board and batten though. I think it's gonna look really nice once it's all white. And then the brick around the house comes up to just a little bit above the base of the windows here. We were going back and forth on whether or not we wanted to do all brick or if we wanted to do some siding and we decided to go with kind of a mix. And I think it's gonna look really good that way because it kind of breaks up the textures and adds a little bit more um, interesting you know, visual to the eye. And so I think it's gonna look really nice like that with the white, the white brick, and then the big black windows and the black trim. Yeah. So I'm very, very excited. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Another thing that I really love that we're doing with a lot of the windows in the front is the wood over the windows here. Have them on both levels. Um, and it's just like nice cedar beams. Those are what we picked out the other day yeah. at the lumber yard. And so that's gonna go over most of the windows. It's also going over the front double doors and the side doors where Steven and I's patio is, the little side patio um, that opens into the library. 
So that's gonna look really nice and I think it's gonna be a great accent with the white and the black. In the next couple of weeks, we're gonna be doing drywall inside. Yeah. So we're gonna take you inside for a video coming up soon, but yeah. this is just the update on the house. I don't know how quickly they'll be painting. I don't know if that's something that they wait till like the end of construction or if yeah. they paint it once all of the siding's on. So, but as soon as we do have it all painted, then we'll take you around and show you. I think the exterior is just gonna be so it's beautiful gonna be once it's all done. Yeah, they just um, finished the pre-insulation and all the caulking inside, and they're getting the interior inspection done so that they can start on drywall, that it's all you know dried in and it's not gonna get all moldy or soaked or whatever. Right. And that's when it starts to really pick up and go fast, so. Yeah, we have some friends that just recently built a house, and she said that when they had the drywall in, it was only two months before the home was completed. Yeah. So it goes really, really quickly once the drywall's in because then they're just doing the flooring and the cabinets and all of the aesthetic <laughs> stuff. Yeah. Um, we already have the electrical and the plumbing and all of that yeah. done, and so it's cabinets going to be... Cabinets are built, we're just waiting on countertops yeah. and all that good stuff. Yeah, the cabinets were ordered when the windows were ordered, so they've been sitting... Like almost a year ago. <laughs> yeah, they have been they've been ready for us for yeah. many months, so we hopefully don't have any more delays yeah. on anything. Um, pretty much all the big stuff that we needed to order has been ordered, and so I don't yeah. foresee there being any big delays at this point. Um, our contractor was saying that we should be able to be in the house by the end of April, and that is coming up quick. That's basically... So fast. When half months at yeah. this point so we basically um, get home from Greece which if you haven't seen our last video yeah. you need to go watch that but we're gonna go to Greece and we'd come home for from our Greece 20 year anniversary. for our 20 year anniversary yeah. uh, and then we'd get home from Greece and move in which is that would be yeah it'll be a amazing. whirlwind April is gonna be a good month <laughs> Stephen's yeah. also gonna be turning 40 in April oh so we're gonna gosh. have a big birthday bash um, maybe what like a belated life? birthday in the house oh, or who knows maybe we'll be, be in by then but either way, it's going to be really a close call. So lots of exciting things coming up. Yeah. This spring is going to be very, very good. And yeah. I know our kids are so excited as well. Yeah. We've been over here almost every single day with them, walking around, dreaming, planning. The kids are like talking about where they're putting their furniture. Yeah. And it's just starting to feel so much more real because we've seen some real progress happening. So very grateful. Yeah. Um, but we need to head home because Steven's brisket is off of the grill. You gotta slice it. It's been resting long enough. We're good yeah. to go. And we're hungry, so yeah. let's go. watching Steven carve up the last of this brisket and it is really good. I sampled a little bit. Lincoln of course has a little plate here because he did not want to wait. He had a few bites and was like totally hooked. So just finishing up cutting this and then the rest of the kids are going to be eating. We have to pick up Jude from um, soccer practice in just a little bit too and so we're all kind of just eating at our own pace tonight um, and that's just how it is sometimes but we usually like to sit down together at the table for dinner and uh, this is one of those nights that we're probably just going to kind of all eat as we go. We also did tell our neighbors that we were going to save yeah. some for them and because I showed so up sweet. yesterday to smoke all this and there was power cut to the RV yeah. so I had to drag the smoker over to their house and they let me use their power. Yeah, they're Thank so Thank you sweet. to our wonderful, wonderful neighbors. And they were like, that's like gold. And I was like, I'll yeah. give you some. So we will pay you in take brisket. Take them a plate. It's going to be amazing. kids are chomping at the bit. I think Amanda's actually got a little bit of a migraine and so we are just gonna close this out and kind of wind down, have a little bit of a relaxing evening, eating some sliced meats, hanging with the girlies. Swear to Kira. I thought she was right behind me. Drinking some water, having a good time. We love you guys. Can't wait to see you next time. We'll see you later. Bye. 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 Think I say bye? Bye. bye. <laughs> say peace out. <laughs> For your name's sake, you will lead me back.